someone said, once you get fired, go back and look where you started hmm. and where you ended and what all you accomplished along the way. And so, uh, you know, there were one or two tough years uh, along the way. But, man, there was some really, really, really high, high moments as well. And, you know, we won ch conference championships. Uh, we had, you know, lottery pick. Uh, you know, we had some guys obviously going to the NBA. But, you know, you win two conference championships there in the Big 12 tournament. That, that was, Those were special times. But Ames was a great place. And the new coach there is going to do a great job. Uh, but it's a special place. they got great, great support. Uh, got great people up there. But the biggest thing I learned is obviously there is some things you got to change. And, and, but it's kind of like the 80 20 rule. 80% is pretty good. Mm. And it's been really good. And it's gotten me to this point. But there are some 20% of where there are some, some day to day things that you've got to make sure you do a little bit better job with. And then so much today is just predicated on you've got to do a great job, obviously, with the, with the people you bring in player wise. And, you know, character and, and toughness and ability, but then you really got to dive in and make sure they know you care. And I think that's the way everything it functions is just making sure everybody knows that you're, you're, you're in it for them. And, and, and I'm older now to where, you know, I'm almost 50 now to where, you know, uh, you're not just a young kid just trying to get in the business and figure out a way to break in. And I'm in a really good place in my life to where it's, it's really just about how can I impact Murray? How can I help them transition into this new league? And then how can I really help these student athletes and staff that I'm with every day?